Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Mohd Nouray from back here again. I uh, am going to discuss today the another person that I worked with um, a good while ago. This was, I think, a year ago or something. Uh, and that is the Goetic spirit Batin, B-A-T-H-I-N. He is one of the Goetic spirits. You'll have to excuse me. I don't know exactly which Goetic spirit because it was so, such a long time ago. So the memory isn't fresh. I mean, exact details like I usually display or like I usually state in my videos isn't exactly, uh, consult the article for that in the link below. Um, but in any case, I don't know exactly how, which Goer Spirit he is in terms of number and so on, etc. It was that long ago. Uh, long story short, I was looking for a spirit to help me out with, uh, with immigrating. I'm not gonna, I intend on immigrating to a Western country. I'm not going to state which country I'm going to immigrate to, just because it doesn't seem proper to do so. Um, but but I, uh, I was just looking for a spirit, you know, and that when I was browsing through Goetia and my eyes fell on Batin. And like I've explained in the past, okay, I have this, um, I've developed this ability too, where when I think about a spirit, or when I contemplate about working with the spirit or something, that spirit automatically appears, or he, she or she shows himself. And it was back then when I uh, was busy thinking about whether I should work with that then to move, okay, or to help me with moving and everything, that he appeared and he asked me, where do you want to move to? And I told him where, and he was like, I can help you, just invoke me and we'll get things started. And I barely made any offerings to him. All I offered him was a bowl of soup, I think, back then. Uh, because I was a bit short on cash, I offered him nothing but a bowl of soup. And that's when I, it was when I invoked him and things went incredibly well. I have no complaints. Um, back then, is incredibly skilled, I have to be honest. He's, he also has a good deal of power behind it, a good punch. Um, to illustrate that, okay, the problem was that before back then, I literally had no idea what to do. When I went to the immigration website of the country that I wanted to move to, I was literally, I just, had, I just got a headache from simply reading it, okay? Because most Western countries make moving to them impossible, which I don't agree with, okay? You can make something hard, okay? For obvious reasons, you can make something difficult, obvious reasons, you don't want parasites in here. In your country you don't want parasites and worthless garbage understandably okay completely i share the same sentiment but they're making it impossible honestly the country that i want to move to you can be a i think you can this i'm not exaggerating here you can be a rocket scientist doesn't matter how rich you are how qualified you are doesn't matter how much work experience you have it does not matter how edu well educated you are um, the chances of you getting in are slim to none um let's see what else I, and again, like I said, I had no idea what to do or where to begin. I was just completely at a loss. I literally had no idea. And I was like, how do I do this? How do I even go about doing this? I have no idea. I have no idea how to do this, uh, honestly. And that's, again, that's why I was looking for a spirit, a spirit to literally just show me the way to open up everything for me. And boy, did Batten open up things for me. Before Batten, I literally was completely lost. I had no idea what the hell to do, how to do it, what. I did not know anything. I was at a complete loss for words. After Batten, um, wow, um, uh, after that invocation and after I talked to Batten and so on, he just opened up so many opportunities for me. I came into contact with a lawyer from said country and he told me, he gave me instructions on what I was supposed to do for free. This was via email. I uh, found someone else that was going to, that did his or her best to do, to, to, to get things done for me in terms of steps towards immigration. I, um, I received instructions from Batten, basically impulses on, to, on what to do. And it came down to it that I spent an entire day, not literally a day, but let's just say a couple of hours behind uh, the immigration website of said country that I want to move to and everything became clear. I managed to literally just lay out all of my steps, all of the steps that are applicable to my situation or all of the uh, eligibilities that I personally qualify for, all of the opportunities or ways of immigrating that I qualify for. And he just laid everything out for me when I literally had no idea what the hell to do. I only had no idea where to begin. I had no idea what to do. That's how overwhelming it was. 
and I'm far from the only person that has that problem, okay? And in any case, after batting, it was just, um, again, he literally just showed me the way exactly. He opened up so many doors for me. Um, and at a certain point, I literally just drew a, uh, I created a PDF for myself or, or a Word document in which I outlined all of the steps for myself neatly after spending a day approximately on that immigration website. Um, so that I had a proper overview, a proper and neat overview of, of, of what to do and what my uh, eligibility status is for moving and if so under what conditions, you name it. He's the one that literally guided me through all of that. And uh, he went even, he literally just went even further because let's just say it turned out that I, that after trying one option that it turned out that I wasn't eligible, eligible for that option. So we just, he just kept going. We just tried several other opportunities and avenues. Unfortunately, I'm still in my current location, uh, but that's not the point, okay? Um, I still haven't immigrated yet, but that's not the point. Um, the point for me is that Batin has literally, a, the, Batin has literally opened up the road for me where there was literally no road whatsoever. There was figuratively speaking, nothing but a marshland and nothing but bushes and dense thick forest. But then literally opened up the road for me, a nice, a neatly paved road, properly infrastructured and everything, okay? And all the while, while doing it, but then was, um, while we were in the process of doing that, I remember back, uh, let's just say a month or so after I invoked him, he kept giving me these really vivid dreams of moving. I had several dreams, you name it. I had a dream where I, uh, these were incredibly pleasant dreams. I'm not kidding, these were really nice dreams. I had a dream where I was on an airplane, I had another dream where I was discussing things with foreigners and so on. But in a pleasant way, no negativity whatsoever. That dream was literally just, I honestly, I almost miss those dreams. I don't, but I almost miss them. Those dreams were really pleasant. Um, um, and I also remember a couple of times when I woke up that Batin was right there and Batin, I I didn't see him, of course, okay, but Batin kept himself in the background and I remember at least one of the times when I woke up that I heard him say, do you like the dreams that I'm giving you, these pleasant dreams? It's just a preview of things to come. While he was, uh, he was uh, briefly gr uh, giggling <laughs> in the background. But my point is that, yeah, I mean, Batin did his job like no other and this was literally without any major resources or something. This was a plain and simplest, the plain and simplest kind of invocation that you can imagine. I just had the basic things that I always have with me. And the only thing I literally offered him was a small bowl of soup. That's all. Literally just a bowl of soup and that is it. Uh, regarding appearance, back then takes on the appearance of, um, like the Goetia indeed um, resembles or like the Goetia signifies or displays of a, uh, a transparent uh, horseman, let's just say a cavalryman, uh, just somebody on a horse and I, um, that's the way he appeared to me too. Um, that is one of his appearances. The other one is that of a duke. He basically appears as a duke, uh, let's just say kind of like an aristocrat on a horse. And the other one is of a stereotypical Western IT looking guy. Let's just say a blonde guy with glasses and, and um, a pasty looking guy wearing a, uh, some kind of college shirt uh, and just um, neatly neat pants. Kind of like the college professor look, okay, with suede elbow patches. Not that he had elbow patches, but that is uh, the kind of look that he had, that he was sporting. And sometimes he combines uh, those appearances. Sometimes he's the. Uh, sometimes he is the. Um, he is that IT looking guy, okay, that college professor looking type on a horse. And uh, other times it's just a plain duke, and other times it's just a transparent being on on another again on a horse. I think I like the latter one the most. Um, and I also remember Batin told me after the invocation, more you know some. Um, I'm glad in any case that you invoked me, okay? People nowadays, people nowadays don't need my services anymore. Everybody, they only care about money and about other superficial stupid stuff. Nobody has need of moving anywhere or being anywhere in a swift way or fashion. 
and uh, which and I, I agree with them of course it's it's obvious yeah people nowadays only care about money and other stupid stuff so I understand that uh, Batten does not have a lot of people invoking him or asking him for help uh, so I understand that uh, in any case yeah so that is my point okay I'm talking about this is an entire process that's why it was so long ago this was like a year ago at least and Batten was just literally a year ago at least and Batten was just it, he was very consistent okay because believe me the whole immigration process is incredibly difficult I tried let's just say at least one step is consistent of um, as one step is comprised or composed of five steps individually and I tried that for example and if that didn't work then I had to switch over to something different entirely so try this try that just in a simple example, if express entry didn't work, then I had to try some via some other road, via um, a businessman road, uh, let's just say ent um, entry via um, com commercial um, opportunities or, or investing, you name it. Um, usually, again, like I said, Western countries have immigration policies that are not difficult, they're impossible, okay, to get through. Um, it doesn't matter how educated, how qualified, or how wealthy you are. It does not matter. It doesn't matter how well known you are. You could be Lance Armstrong. You're not getting in the West. Um, and yeah, that is basically it. But Batten did an exceptionally well job. He exceeded all of my expectations in terms of um, in terms of results. Okay. Of course, I expected results because I did my homework before, like I always do. And I saw that yes, he was going to do. He is going to do well, and that I will. He will help me in getting what I want. And again, like I said before, back then, once again, I completely, I had no idea what the hell to do. I was completely just looking at an immigration website gave me an incredible migraine or a headache. I was like, nah, this is. I have no idea what to do. Just looking at it all immediately wore me down. Okay, basically gave me mental fatigue. But. Um, but after uh, back then, everything became clear. I knew exactly what I had to do and how I needed to do it. And I followed all of these steps, okay? And for me, basically, I'm at the end of one phase where I've tried, I practically tried or exhausted um, practically every opportunity that I've had in terms of immigration. And unfortunately, I still, that still wasn't enough. Okay, but again, I'm not worried about that, and that's not the point. My point is that Batten delivered results like no other. Um, let's see, what else did I forget to mention? Uh, there's nothing else. I, I covered appearance, I covered results, I covered um, what he looks like, and so on, and details. And regarding correspondences, Batten, unsurprisingly, is he falls under the zodiac sign or corresponds with the zodiac sign Sagittarius, which is obvious to me. Okay, when I read upon Batten, I was like, Batten has to be a Sagittarian spirit. He has to be Jupiterian. Okay, because Sagittarius is the only zodiac sign or the only, the only uh, universal force that deals with moving or that deals with, with um, locations. I'm talking about long distance locations. Short distance locations is Gemini, so Mercury. But Jupiter and Jupiter Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius specifically, is a... Um, is the zodiac sign the only one that deals with long distance traveling and really it, what do you know i the second i did my I, I research i did research on him and so on i immediately saw well there you go see i knew it he's sagittarian um and yeah but like i said batin is a powerful one okay batin is incredibly skilled incredibly disciplined consistent um so yeah, Batten is definitely, I personally recommend Batten. If you want to move somewhere, if you have a location that you need to be that is quite far away, or uh, something that will take a good deal of effort to say the least to move to, then yeah, Batten is your man. Look no further, okay? Batten is the spirit to work with. I personally recommend Batten. And because my, my research also indicated that, I was like, whoa, wow, yeah, this is one strong guy. Uh, yeah, an incredibly strong thingy, uh, Sagittarian spirit. Uh, that's all the information that I have on Batten. I honestly don't really care about any of his other information. I thought about asking him whether he's a fallen angel or what he is, whether he's celestial or infernal, but honestly, I just don't care about that. And uh, he's also not really coming forward in the sense of telling me what he was and so on. He also knows that I don't care too much. 
no offense meant to him but i just care about results and yeah that is basically it so again well done batin and uh, thank you for your help and yeah definitely work with batin if you need help that if you need help regarding this topic